so far. So what have we done so far? Well, basically what I'm what we did first of all, we had an equation 3a plus 5 is equal to 10. Asked you to solve it. You realize you just take away 5 from both sides. You got 3a equals 5. Then you got a is equal to 5 divided by 3, divided by 3. So you divided by 3 from both sides, on both sides. And you got that's equal to 1.67. And I put a little equal sign there, so I can say that's 1.7 to 1 decimal place. Now, the next problem, um, I basically laid you into a trap. You can't solve it. And the reason, the standard rule is... You can't solve an equation with two unknowns. You can't. It can't be done. Um, because with the first one, we had one equation, one unknown. This has got one equation with two unknowns. Now, I tried to show that you can solve it because what I did is I rearranged it so I could say that a is equal to three minus two b. I then said, well, if a is equal to three minus two b, why don't I put the three minus two b back into the equation from uh, like it was at the beginning? In other words, let me give these equations some numbers. So that's my first step. Um, this is my second step. This is my third step. And now what I did in my fourth step is I took this part from the third step and I put it into, let me pick a different color. I put it, put it into there. So instead of writing A, I wrote what A is equal to, 3 minus 2B. So it looks like I'm going to solve it because I've got one unknown now and um, in one equation. So I should be able to solve it. So try to work out why I have not solved it and why I'm going to come into a problem here. Have it, sit, just take it to the, do, do the fifth step and see what happens. So before you do that, I've just realized I've made a mistake. <laughs> What I did is I moved the, I did, moved the 4B over to the other side. That should be a plus. And so that, felt, that should be a plus, which means that should be a plus. Okay. Right. Now try and now try and take it to the next step. Okay. So when you expand the brackets, you're multiplying all of this by 2. So first of all, you multiply by the 3 by the 2, which is going to be 6. And then you multiply the 2B by the 2, not the 2, and then the, you, you multiply all of this by 2. So 2b times 2 is 4b. And then you take that bit, minus 4b, and then equals 6. What do we get? The 4b cancels out with the 4b. Or if you want, don't cancel it out and just simply go 6 plus 4b, then move the other 4b over to the other side, and you've got 6 plus 4b. Well, that's not much good, is it? 6 plus 4b equals equal to 6 plus 4b. It doesn't matter if you cancel them out and so on. you just got 6 equals 6, or 4b equals 4b. No, much, not much good, right? So, yeah. so basically, you cannot solve an equation if it's got two unknowns, all right? So, um, you can solve... An equation with two unknowns if you have a have another equation with the same two unknowns and that's what will that's what simultaneous equations are all about so i'm just going to 